I love d and I don't think people understand just how addictive the game is. It's literally just make-believe, but with math rocks. An emotional torment. My boyfriend introduced me to d and back in August of 2020 because his friend Logan dropped out. Like a coward. And I got to play my very first D&D character, Sienna Haddock. She was raised by a goblin chief named Strix, an overprotective dad who never let her venture too far from the village and was trying to be a ranger, so she hunted and protected the tribe. I won't go too far into her story because that's a separate video all on its own, but it basically went like this. No adventuring. Hey! You're hot. Quit. You're hot. Whoa. <laughs> I'm horny. I you We won. That was fun. Very good first campaign for me. The sequel campaign was awesome too, but that's a video on its own. Now let me talk about dice. Dice are so pretty and expensive. At least the custom ones I want to get off of Etsy because those ones are just so goddamn pretty. Let me talk about how D&D dice work. D20. Basically the die you use most in D&D. It's a 20-sided die that usually decides your fate. Natural ones are critical fails, and while natural 20s are critical successes. And let me tell you, rolling a nat 20 is like Markiplier being 20 mode on a FNAF game. Oh my god! Oh, I did it! And this is what rolling a nat 1 looks like. Oh my god! I'm done! Oh god! Fuck! No, oh my god! Every other die. Damage. I'm not joking. There are other mechanics to D&D. Like spells. Mm-hmm. There are so many classes to choose from, including subclasses where just classes but modified. There are a plethora of races, tieflings being the best, and a lot of backgrounds. Ugh. A, a lot. <sighs> but what I love most about D&D is the role playing. See, I always love the thought of acting as like an improv, but getting to play as a fictional character as if you are them gives me so much serotonin. I like being someone I'm not. I am in desperate need of therapy. The amount of emotion you can draw out of someone in D&D is just amazing to me. Even if it's all make-believe. Like every other piece of media, it can mean something to you. And I find that to be amazing. Matt made me cry multiple times in the course of his D&D campaigns. And that just means he's doing a good job. And that I care too much. One time I cried so hard in session that I got a headache that carried over into the next day. What an achievement he gained that day. I'm glad this isn't just a me problem. Everyone emotionally suffers in D&D. Because we all make the one mistake. Getting attached to characters who the DM isn't afraid to smite within the blink of an eye. And yet we do it! Foolishly knowing! It isn't just character deaths, though. It can be an emotional outburst. We traveled into the fucking Nine Hells to get Pike a suit of armor. We went and battled a city of vampires so Percy could feel good about his name. We fought Goliaths for Grog. We've traveled across planes of existence so you could fix your fucking daddy issues. But you've never done anything for me! Ever! You've never risked anything, you don't know me, you don't know anything about me. What's my mother's name? What's her name? Easy question. Died in front of me, killed by a goblin. Biggest part of my life. What's her name? Or even just small talk between characters. Because you're me. not gonna die. You don't know that. Trust me, bigger things have tried to kill you and you just refuse. I don't get it. You just ref you just tell them, no, I'm not doing it. And you don't. So I fully expect that in a couple months, I'll be having coffee with you like nothing happened, okay? I got faith in you. Emotional moments like those are what I live for in D&D. I'm all about emotion and making people care about what happens, especially if I'm just a player. I've DM'd before, but yeah, I'd rather be a player. In fact, let me show you my fellow players. Jay, best role player, aside from me. Rufus, he must now take his leave. <laughs> Anthony, funny guy. <laughs> John, big damage. Mikey, British. Matt, 
God. Together we make... Chaos. Puzzles are fun, dungeons are meh, dragons are nowhere to be found, and everyone is slow in combat. But what matters is that everyone had fun. By the way, next session is delayed three weeks. Hey, sorry this video took so long. Um, it's my birthday month. You know, turning 20. Exciting, right? <laughs> um, I'm very sorry that this video took so long to take out. Um, I'm gonna try and upload on my birthday. It's it's not gonna be a story time video. Not, not yet. Me and my boyfriend, we played a game from my childhood and I really want to upload it because I think it, it'd be really funny. I think it was really funny. I was sick, so my voice will sound like I am dying because I actually was. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And guess what? I have a coffee link where you can help donate. It really helps me out. It helps me pay for food, helps me get better equipment, and maybe I'll make a like a member only sort of deal where if you donate to me monthly, maybe I'll read your name at the end of my videos. Cause I, I, I guess people, I do people still like that? Do people do that? I don't do Patreon because Patreon kind of sucks. <laughs> And also, Kofi, co coffee, Kofi, coffee does not take a fee, so all the money goes to me and not them. So that's that's a good thing. But anyway, donate to me if you're able to. P subscribe, like, comment. B bye.